This is printing PETG with um, Ender 3 V2. So first off, the bed's set to 240. I mean, the, the hot end's set to 240. The bed's set to 75. You'll notice that the fan speed is set to zero. Now my speed on the actual um, print, I'm gonna turn this down from 100. And I'm gonna go to like, 83 for my foot. This is doing that um, skirt right now. So I just set it to 83. So when it starts rolling the first layer down, it will uh, do it nice and slow. It's got good adhesion all around. You can see a nice little smush to it. And um, yeah, I could have kept it going faster for the skirt, but whatever. Once it prints the um, skirt, and then it does the main layer. I have my speed of my print uh, slowed down a little bit, but then once it gets past a few layers, I'll maybe increase it back up to 100. Uh, currently, I think I have it at 50 millimeters per second. But when I'm printing with PLA, I'll sometimes print it like 80 millimeters per second with no problems at all. But with the PETG, I've noticed uh, slower and hotter is better. So just Go slower, go hotter, and you should have some success. Make sure the fans are off. A lot of times, though, you'll get a hot uh, nozzle warning because the temperature sensor in the nozzle will overheat. So you might want to kick your fans up after the first two or three layers have uh, adhered to the bed, and you should be able to get away with it. So here you go. You can see it printing now. And this is just the first layer. See, PETG likes to string. You see these little baby strings? But that is a clean um, outline. This is just the letter T. And you can see the head is just moving very slow. You do a damn good job leveling your bed. And you are off to the races. So. Just showing an example of printing PETG on the Ender 3 version 2. Yeah. Alright, guys.